Google recently released the first developer preview of Android 13 and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install it on supported Pixel smartphones using Google's Android Flash tool on the web. This process is similar to the regular ADB fastboot method except that Google has removed all of the command line work and built a website to handle the messy parts. Before we can begin this guide though, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. For example, since we are going to flash the firmware using this method, we first need to have the bootloader unlocked. So if you haven't done that yet, pause here and follow my previous video where I show you exactly how to do that. I'll even include a link in the video description to make it easy for viewers to find that tutorial. I'll also be linking to another video I did showing you how to enable USB debugging mode. And we're going to go ahead and do that so that we can allow our PC to send commands to our smartphone to begin the flashing process. Now it is also advised to back up as much of your data as you can before you do any of this. Both unlocking the bootloader and manually flashing the firmware images will result in a loss of your data. So make sure your important information has been backed up first. So once we access the Android flash tool on the desktop, we're going to be told that we need to grant access to ADB keys. So we're going to, going to go ahead and click the blue allow ADB access button right here. And we're going to be taken to the main page where at first we should be told that there are no devices available. That's going to happen until we plug in our USB cable. And as instructed here, you're going to need to enable developer mode. And now we're going to add a device by clicking this add new device. It's going to bring up this pop-up box where we can see our Pixel 6. We're going to click it and then click Connect. We have clicked the Force Inspect button, which is going to ask us to allow USB debugging mode on our phone. And we're going to click that Allow button. Now we can select the device we want to install right here, or we want to install to. And then we're going to select the Android 13 Preview 1 in the beta releases right here. So here we have the device we're currently connected to. We have the firmware that we are going to install, but we have some options here that we're going to configure. For example, we do not want to lock the bootloader after we install it. We do want to wipe the device and we want to force flash all partitions. So with these options set up and again making sure we have the correct device selected, we're going to click the install build button and get a confirmation box right here. Again telling us which device we are selected, which firmware we want to install, and then some notes here telling us a factory reset will result in all of our data being erased, like I've already told you. It also instructs us to not interact with the device unless instructed to do so, and do not unplug your device. Make sure your smartphone has a secure USB connection so that nothing happens during this flashing process. When you're ready to continue, we're going to click the confirm button right here. And we're just going to accept this user agreement. Now we're told that preparing the device is in process and our smartphone has rebooted on its own. It has booted itself into fast boot mode. And the Android flash tool here is going to do all of the work for us.
We're told that sometimes we need to reselect our device. So we're going to reselect our device here. We see it in the pop-up box. We're clicking Pixel 6 and clicking Connect. And now our browser is going to manually download the factory images, the firmware. It's downloading the firmware that's going to be installed onto our device. And again, this could take a lot of time. It depends on how fast your internet is. It depends on how fast the phone you're flashing is. We're just going to be patient. We're going to make sure our phone is secure, still has that stable connection. And as it finished downloading the firmware, you can see it switched over to flashing as well as rebooting a couple of times. It's going to reboot multiple times as it flashes different parts of the firmware. You have to remember this firmware is multiple gigabytes in size. When uploading partition data like this, sometimes those firmware files need to be broken up into smaller pieces. So again, we're just going to wait patiently. We have this progress bar right here on the website. And we're told that the installation is complete, it has been successfully installed, and it is now safe to unplug our device. Not only that, but we have also seen our Pixel 6 restart on its own. Now we've seen the phone reboot a couple of times. This second boot has gone straight to the boot animation. And we have to remember that we basically just did a factory data reset on our device. So this first boot back into Android, it's going to take a little longer than normal. And right when we boot into here, even before we get to the Android activation screen, we are reminded that we are on a Android developer preview. This is not even an Android beta. This is a developer preview. And we can just tap OK to bypass. And here we are booted into the Android 13 developer preview. And even though we are not told that we are on Android 13, you can see on our Android version page we are on Android Tiramisu, which is the code name for this version of Android. So that wraps up this video on how to install the Android 13 Developer Preview using Google's Android Flash tool. You can see the process was very straightforward. The company has set up this website very well, and it was pretty easy to get this Developer Preview installed on our Google Pixel 6.